Are you tired of listening to the same songs? Do you wish you could have Patrick Starr sing any song you want instead? Well, now you can. And today I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, my name is Kei, your AI Overload, and if you always wanted to make your own AI music covers, well, you are at the right place. Because nowadays, music AI covers are everywhere on YouTube. And many of them are just fantastic. They are really that good. And today I'm gonna show you how you can make them yourself for free on your local computer. Now this video is basically part 2 of my voice cloning video with RVC I made only a few days ago. So if you don't know what RVC is or how to install it, you need to watch this video first. Or just use my one click installer if you are one of my Patreon supporters. Just download the installer onto your computer, then double click on it, and after a few minutes the web UI will launch automatically ready to be used. You don't need to do anything. Okay, so now that we have the web UI, how exactly do we do AI voice covers? Well first we need to find the music, download it as an audio file, then separate the voice from the music, then convert the vocals into the new voice, and then put back the vocals and instrument together to create one single audio. Sounds easy, right? Well, that's because it actually is. It is really that simple. And I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. Okay, so step one, find the music that you like. Now, unfortunately, because it is YouTube, I cannot play any copyright songs. So for this video, in this example, I'm gonna have to use some old public domain music so that I don't get a strike on my channel channel, but obviously in your case you can choose any music that you want. The principle will always stay the same. And once we get our audio file, we can finally start to have some fun. Because the next step is to separate the vocals from the music. And for this you have basically two options. The first is by using some online services like vocalremover.org or x-pro where you basically upload your audio file, it will then process the audio file and after a few minutes it will separate the audio file in two different tracks. The instrument and the vocals. There is a flower within my heart. And you will then download these two tracks onto your computer for the next step. Now, as I said, you can either do this by using some online services, but unfortunately they do have some restrictions, or you can simply use the tool inside RVC. That's right, you don't actually need to download anything else. Because if you actually go on the second tab, you have here the vocals, accompaniment, separation, and reverberation removal. And to use it, it's actually really, really simple. Now, first you can either enter the path of the audio folder, or you can simply drag and drop your file right here. However, be very careful, because in both of those cases, you need to make sure that the folder path does not have any spaces in the name and that the audio file doesn't have any spaces either. So unfortunately, in my case, I have a problem right here because of the name, so I basically need to rename it. And I'm simply gonna use, like for example, a simple word like daisy and simply press enter. This way, there will be no error. Okay, so now that we have uploaded our audio file, we can then choose a model. Now here, you have a bunch of models to choose from, but the one that I actually recommend you to use is this weird HP5, and what this model will do is that it will do the exact same thing, it will separate the vocals and the instruments into their own audio files. So the next you can specify the output folder for the vocals and for the instruments. So in my case I will just leave OPT by default and then you can choose and export file format. Now since we are working with WAV files, I'm gonna choose this format and then click convert. And after a few seconds the separation has been done correctly. And to check the final results you can simply go inside the main folder, then inside OPT and here you will see two different audio files. The instrument, which is basically like the music, without any vocals, and the next is vocals without the music. Daisy, Daisy. Okay, so now that we have those two files, and especially the vocal file, we can finally take this vocal file and convert it into a new voice. Now once again, if you watched my previous video, you should know that you can either train your own voice or the voice of a friend, a family member, and you can do all of that inside RVC which you can then use to convert that audio file into that cloned voice. Or if you're just like me and you're really super lazy and you don't want to train your own model, well that's also not a problem, because there's actually tens of thousands of models to choose from that you can download right now. And one of the websites that allows you to download some of those models is called voicemodels.com. So basically just search for the character that you want. So let's say that for example I want Plankton from Spongebob, I can simply type Plankton and see a bunch of different results. 
And once you find a model that you like, you can just click on this link right here to download the archive onto your computer. And once you have the archive, you're going to extract it, which should then give you two different files, a PTH file that you're going to select, Control X to cut it. Then you're going to go inside your main folder, inside assets, then weights, and that you're going to paste right here. And you will also find another file called index. That you're going to select, Control X to cut it. Then inside your main folder, you're going to go inside logs, and then you're going to paste it right here. So once you have pasted correctly those two files, you're going to go back inside the RVC web UI into the model inference tab. You're going to click refresh voice list and index path. Then under inferencing voice, you're going to choose the model that we just downloaded. Then you're going to choose a transpose value, which is basically like the number of semitones. So if you are converting from a male to female, you need to increase that octave to something like 12 or higher or lower. And if you're converting from a female voice to a male voice, you need to decrease that value to something like minus 12. But all of that really depends on the base file and on the model voice. But as I said, if you don't know what value to put, you can just play around a little bit with the value, convert it a few times, and see which one works the best. Every audio and every model will have a different value. But since I know that Plankton has a very deep and bassy voice, even though the base audio is a man, I will still put that value to something like minus 2. Okay, so next you're gonna enter the path of the audio file. So for this, we're gonna go inside OTP, then we're gonna right click on the vocal file, then copy as path, and then you're gonna paste it right here. So then here, usually auto index path should automatically choose the right file for the model, but in this case, you do not choose it automatically, so we need to choose it ourselves. You're gonna leave the extraction algorithm the way it is, no need to change it, the RMVPE is the best option. So then here you can pretty much leave everything else by default. All of those options are pretty much the best, except maybe this option that I would probably choose to zero. This way we have the same volume as the original audio, but everything else can be left by default. And once this is done, you can simply click convert. And after a few seconds, we get our audio file. So this is the before. There is a flower within my heart. Daisy, Daisy. And this is after. There is a flower within my heart. Daisy, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, it may be not the best song as an example, but as I said for YouTube, this is what I have to do. But obviously, in your case, the song that you chose previously will be definitely a little bit better. Well, hopefully. And once we have this, you can click on this little icon to download it onto your computer. And now we can go on to the final step, putting the vocals and the music together. And to do this, it's actually really super easy, because you can either use any editing software or something simple like Audacity to merge the two files together. So basically here you're gonna take the instrument file that we separated previously and just drag and drop it inside Audacity. So then here we have the music. but without the vocals, and then you're gonna take the converted vocals and do the same thing and just drag and drop it inside Audacity. And now, well, we are basically done. Because if we start playing, we should now have both the vocals and music at the same time. There is a flower within my heart, Daisy. So yeah, there you go. Once again, maybe not the best example, but you get the gist of it. The principle always stays the same. However, you might have noticed that maybe the vocals are a little bit lower than the music. So one thing that you can do, for example, is to actually increase the volume of the vocals while reducing the volume of the music. And for this, you can simply double click on the instrument channel, then go to effect, volume and compression, then amplify. Then under amplification dB, you're gonna decrease that value to something like maybe 2.1 and then click apply. And as you can see now, the audio wave is a little bit smaller. And now we're gonna do the same thing, but with the audio. But now we're gonna increase the volume. So you're gonna double click on this channel, go to effect, volume and compression, amplify, and then put that value to something like 2.5 or more, it's up to you, and then click apply. So that in the end, the mixing should be a little bit better. There is a flower within my heart, Daisy. Okay, well, there you go. I think this is enough. And once you're happy with the results, you can simply click on File, Export, and then Export as a WAV. And there you go. Here's your final AI song cover. 
that you can use for your YouTube videos, your project, or just for fun. Simple as that. And there you go. Now, if you have any questions about the software on how to install it, keep in mind that I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters. So if you have any questions whatsoever, just send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. So now that you know all of this, go ahead and make the best AI covers ever. And most importantly, just have fun. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are literally the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.